Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to see how to prepare fish curry. This fish curry is extremely easy to prepare and it is packed with spices and flavors. Without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm going to start by preparing a thick paste for the curry. For this we will need tamarind, turmeric powder, coriander seeds, freshly grated coconut, cumin seeds, fennel seeds, garlic pods, Kashmiri red chilli. You can always mix this up with another kind of chilli if you like but I like this because it gives a more vibrant colour. If you can see that here we are going to use all fresh ingredients. For this curry I am going to use sear fish also known as surmai. We will sprinkle some salt and let it set aside so that the flavours are all out. Meanwhile let's get started with the paste. In a mixing jar we will add in the red chilies. Always make sure that the blade of your mixing jar is really sharp because we need a very fine paste. To the red chilies we will then add in our garlic pods, followed by the cumin seeds, the fennel seeds. This is for the freshness to the curry. Let's go ahead with the coriander seeds and in goes the tamarind. If you notice here, we are using all fresh ingredients, so is the coconut. We will add in some freshly grated coconut. This is definitely the top of this recipe. A good fish curry always calls for good and fresh coconut. This fish curry is so simple and easy that if you can just ace this paste, it's going to be perfect. In goes the turmeric powder. We will add in some water. You can always adjust the quantity. All you need is a thick paste. Now if you can see, wow, this paste is so thick and fine. This is the consistency of the paste you need. I generally add in little water at a time because I don't want my paste to turn out too watery. Neither do I want it too thick. So this is just perfect. If you can see the color, the texture, Beautiful, beautiful. I know this is going to be an amazing fish curry. Set your pan to heat and in goes the oil. Just wait until your oil heats up. You want a real hot oil. Don't go in if it is cold. I'm going to add in the onions and let's fry them. Fish curry is something that all recipes will definitely not guarantee you 100% results in terms of taste and texture and consistency. But trust me guys, once you try this, it's going to be amazing. So if you see, the onions have browned up and they have caramelized. You don't want to make them black or you don't want to burn them. You want them caramelized like this. Now it's time to add in the paste which we set aside before we could fry the onions. In goes the paste. And yes, this is exactly how it's supposed to look. Let's give it a good fry. Make sure you do not let the paste or the spices stick down to your pan. You want to keep mixing them. Since we have used a lot of fresh spices and herbs, we want the smell, the raw smell to go away and we want to start cooking this and turn the smell into a fragrance or an aroma. Now if you can see, in the mixing jar I had some spice or some paste left so I added in some water and I poured it here. Now we will continue to mix it. If you notice, I'm not going to add in any extra water or I'm not going to add in plain water. I'm just trying to keep the flavors within. If you want to have your fish curry a little more in a gravy form, you can go ahead and add in a little more water. But I feel this thickness and this consistency is just perfect. You fry the paste for like 5 minutes for the raw smell to go. And once you add in the water, you just wait for a boil to come in. You don't want it to completely boil, but just one boil and it's good to go. We can then add in the fish. If you remember, we have already added or sprinkled some salt over the fish so that the fish can get out that flavor into the curry and it can just mix so well that you will have an amazing fish curry here. In my house, we at least prepare this fish curry once a week or if possible even twice a week you can never get bored of this a good fish curry and a fish fry if you want me to make a video on how to prepare fish fry do let me know in the comments section below 
let's give it a mix here we will not use a spoon because we don't want to break apart the fish so all we will do is take the pan or you'll take your utensil or your vessel and just give it a good move or a stir that the curry can coat over your fish let's cover the pan and let it cook this should not take more than eight to nine minutes because fish cooks really fast just after 67 minutes I'm going to add in the coconut milk here I'm using ready-made coconut milk if you come down to the south you will notice that they use coconut like in almost everything so here it goes again in our fish curry followed by this we'll add in our ginger the green chilies which we slit aside like I told you that a good fish curry is something that has been passed on and with few techniques so I will not use a spoon I will just give the pan a good stir we are almost there with the fish curry but I feel the curry is a little thick so to get it into a little more gravy in texture I'm going to add in some water to the tin in which I had the coconut milk because I told you I do not want to add in any plain water or I do not want to destroy the spices and the flavors here. So that's it. We're almost done and we've reached the end and no more ingredients to go in. So we are almost there and we are done with our ingredients. By the way guys, let me tell you something. That fish curry can never go bad. The older it gets or the more it stays in your refrigerator, the tastier it is. So if you want to prepare a batch of fish curry and just set it in your refrigerator, you know, maybe for a week or eight, nine days, it will still taste even better. So you don't have to bother about it. A traditional fish curry is always served with some boiled rice and neer dosa. Again, to know how to prepare neer dosa, do let me know in the comment section below. All we are waiting for is the fish curry to come to a boil and every fish has a different cooking temperature so just make sure that your fish is cooked well. If you wish to have more such amazing recipes on your table, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. The fish is cooked, the raw smell is gone and the fish curry is ready. Let's garnish it with some coriander leaves and that's it, we are done. Hope to see you again with some more new amazing recipes. This is Angel signing off. Bye-bye.